Hello everybody, welcome to the Spongebob Squarepants movie game! Yeah, I'm so, I am so hyped for this. Uh, Christmas Day has come, and just as a present, I wanted to do the Spongebob Squarepants movie later, but screw it! You know what, after Battle for Bikini Bottom, uh, I was like, you know what, let's just go right into this game. I want to do it, so, here we go. Uh, let's just set some options real quick. Um... There. Okay, there you go. Promotional materials. Uh, let's not watch those. Anyway, we're gonna make a new game. Of course, we're gonna make a game file here and make an empty thing. There we go. All right. No cheese. Yeah, this is based on the movie of the same name. So, like Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm gonna try to do a hundred percent playthrough of this, but you know, I don't know as much about this game because I've played it less than Battle for. <clears throat> Excuse me, Battle for Bikini Bottom. So whatever. Okay, those are movie. Well, I don't know. Those are just slideshow pictures of the thing, but. I can't believe this is happening here. It's horrible! Okay. I don't want to take any risks. I'm going in. So here we go. Wow, that's a loud helicopter. Anyway, as you can see, this game plays a lot like Battle for Bikini Bottom, if not, if not exactly. Uh, instead of the bubble wand, we have karate, a karate block, a karate chop thing, and pretty much everything else is banned. <laughs> Hashtag banned. So here we go. Alright, jump. SpongeBob finally doesn't have an annoying jump cycle, but uh, as you can see, there's this meter up here with ha which you collect these weights. They're no longer just shiny objects, and thankfully, there's no BS Mr. Krabs stuff you have to do. So you can just collect these um, of your own volition, and uh, these are basically um, experience points. Um, they'll tell you later what they're useful for, but uh, they're for giving your character skills. So. Uh, yeah, as you can see, Patrick's here, who's just dead. So anyway, Patrick gets uh, bum-rushed by jellyfish, which is uh, pretty awkward. Manly Smosh! From manager to, well, not manager. A little man type stuff. Anyway, also your health is no longer measured in underwear, but in, um, Krabby Patties. So, there you go. Also, you can collect extras, which... Which, those are just, um promotional stuff, which can have copyrighted things, so we're not going to look at those, and I'm not even going to bother with those. The main thing I'm trying to 100% are these these things right here. Goofy Goober Tokens, which, you know, I don't want to bore you with those, so whatever. Anyway, this song is pretty cool. Uh, this game isn't as good as Battle for Bikini Bottom, in my opinion, but, you know, it's still a pretty good game. Bubble Smash! There we go. Also, checkpoints. They don't say checkpoint anymore. Which, honestly, works for me. <laughs> I wonder what these boxes are useful for, but whatever. I know nothing. Macho smash. All right, there we go. So now we have a P star. Boop boop. Oh, that's kind of more. I don't know if that's more of a satisfying sound than the other one. No, no, it is. It's better. 
I like that sound more than just the generic of the last game. You know, this one is just like bloop, bloop. Like, somehow this game can be like less comedic yet more comedic than Battle for Bikini Bottom. All right, there we go. I Yeah. Ouch! There you go. So I'm not gonna go near this thing because that means you um trigger the next cutscene. I don't want that. Because I want to correct collect all these things. Because if you can get more power ups in this game, the uh, better you'll fare. I understand game. All right, there. There. All right, let's hit up this thing. Bling. Victory screech. All right, there we go. All right. Who are you? I'm the manager of this establishment. Everything is gonna be just fine. Who really scared me? I'm really scared, man. All right, I'm ready. Depression. So basically, it's a dream sequence, and uh, nothing goes his way. Which, if you're allowed to watch the cutscenes on any other playthrough, they're I think this part's pretty funny, but you know, we're not allowed to watch that. Hey, buddy, smart. Wake up. Huh? Where are you? It's eight in the morning. Slow. Looks like your friend's dad. Hey, buddy, come on up here and join the party. There you go. So now we're in the uh, Goofy Goober area. So anyway, these people just burp everywhere. Which means, you know, you just spin against them. So anyway, this game is a lot more linear than Battle for Bikini Bottom. Uh, it's not like Battle for Bikini Bottom where everything was like overworld based, you know. This game is kind of... You can kind of compare this game and Battle for Bikini Bottom kind of like the first two... Um, Sonic Adventure games in a way, where uh, the first one was more open world, where the second one was a lot more linear, but you know. As it turns out, not a lot of people like about this game simply just because, some people just flat out hate this game simply because it's linear, and I'm just like. You know what, if you don't like a linear game, then you know. A lot of games are linear without people realizing them, but, you know. I won't diss on anybody and their tastes. Alright. I'm just trying to collect muscle coins over here. I'm not trying to do anything else. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Y. A Y? Dr. Y? There's a way to grind up these things so that you don't have to do that much. Anyway, this game is running beautifully. So basically you're just trying to save Drunk Bob over there. <laughs> yeah, basically they uh, kind of take the place of the robot. Now, basically these assorted enemies kind of take the place of the uh, robots from Battle for Bikini Bottom. And anyway, bounce pads. I still don't like bounce pads. <laughs> I mean, sure, nothing is as bad as Mega Man Springs. I mean, because fuck Mega Man. All right, there. Okay, whatever. Uh, there's a breakable wall here. I just don't know where it is. Is it right? I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of a different area?
I don't know, I'm trying to look for secrets, because friggin' I don't want to have to come back to these places, but, I mean, this one you have to, because you need the, um, Sonic. Is that the Sonic guitar? Yeah, I'm betting you need to get the, uh, yeah, the Sonic Wave guitar. However, there's a, I guess it's not in this room? Or maybe it's in the next one. And also, that's their replacement for, uh, Sandy. Is just letting you grapple with your tongue. Yeah, Sandy, much like in the movie, is just gone. She's nowhere to be found. So, uh... Which, I really liked Sandy in the last game, but, you know... I understand the corners had to be cut. Anyway, then you see the shell. And probably the least, my least favorite part of this game. Mendy! Oh, I hate Mindy. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, this is what I was looking for. But anyway. A lot of the times in this game where you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, Mindy is... So Mindy supposedly... She's kind of like Navi in a way. But something about her just... Ugh, she... Basically, most of the time you find her, she's just like, you don't have enough Gooby Goober tokens. And that's all the purpose she serves. You know, she just gives you upgrades and says you don't have enough Gooby Goober tokens. That's all she does. So she's more or less a nuisance. And it makes me so friggin' angry because it's like, no. Can I have fun with this game? No. They're like, no, you're not allowed to have fun. So I'm gonna get myself the cart the cartwheel move now, and then tackle that mission. Because what they want you to do is go over to that pad over there, and uh, play this uh, enemy slaughter mission. But uh, I don't want to do that right now. Okay. So Mindy, give me the gosh dang move. Oh, I forgot they did that. Time to spin. Let's go, boy, oh boy. You get going, There's lots. Yeah, so now you can just cartwheel everywhere. So now I'm going to take on this uh, combat arena mission. And I think after this mission, I'll uh, end the episode. You know, but this game is not bad. I like it. I'm going to take these horribly mutilated red vines and eat them. All right. Never mind your SpongeBob for some reason. Ta da There you go. Alright. 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 Whoa. Oh no, they're amazingly <laughs> that sound effect is funny. Why? There we go. Alright. Cool. Oh, 
Oh wow, that's a lot of maps. Well, that's a chain reaction if I ever saw one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure if you lose, like, if you lose all your health to these guys, you just straight, um, have to play the entire mission again. So, uh, don't die, otherwise, uh, you will be very, you'll be very cranky, let's just say that, alright. Mmm. No, no. Porous Smash. Victory Screech! Oh, I can't I can't eat this. I can't eat these. There's such a nasty consistency. There. One of them's whole. Not really. It just snapped in half. Ow. Alright, well, next time on the SpongeBob movie game, we're gonna be continuing on through the uh, goofy goober level and seeing what else there is to smack around. So I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.